Hey guys, what's up? It's Janky, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can make uh, custom Fortnite banners. Um, Pixel E. Uh, this is mostly for. Um, this is just like a tutorial. Like, if you guys into my last video, I made an R6 banner, and then I saw that Fortnite uh, Season Two of Chapter Two is coming out, so I thought I'd just make like, an in-depth tutorial on how to make a cool Fortnite banner. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get right into the video. So what you guys want to do first of all is you guys want to get a uh, template for your banner. Uh, how to do that is you guys can just Google uh, YouTube banner template and then uh, uh, save it to your gallery. It just looks like uh, exactly like this. So yeah. Uh, and the next step is you guys want to put in your text. So just go to the text icon and then add new text. Um, if you guys don't have custom fonts, uh, I have a video on my channel. Link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, so yeah, it has a lot of great fonts, but um, these are some of the ones that I downloaded with my, uh, you know, uh, what you guys can figure out how to do it in the video. These are a couple that I downloaded, uh, so yeah. I'm probably going to use this one just because I think that this one looks good uh, for this banner. I don't know, I'm just feeling it. And then, uh, just put my name in. And then, uh, just make it pretty big. You can always make it smaller, so make it pretty big right now. And then you guys go to styles, and then just put an outline, and then do whatever color you want. Since Fortnite is kind of like, you know, high contrast and like, stuff like that, I think I'm going to kind of do like a kind of light green, like that. That looks, I think that will look really good with uh, a specific banner. So yeah. The next step is you guys want to have uh, your uh, name layer selected. And then you want to go up to layer and reiterate text slash element. All right. Um, and then you guys just want to click on this icon right here, the arrange icon. And then what you guys can do is you guys can actually tilt it back and forth. Yeah, it has a really cool effect. So I like to normally tilt my text a little bit to the side. It also makes it easier to move it around because it uh, makes the box directly on the edges. So I'm going to make this pretty small. And then I'm just going to center it. And yeah. Another really cool effect. You guys don't have to do this, but you can if you want. That I like to do a lot. Is I like to add in a background text. That kind of makes it look like it's... I don't know. I really just... I really think it looks cool. So yeah. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Uh, this is what I did in a lot of my videos. I never really... I don't think I ever explained it in like an actual tutorial. So yeah. Um, normally you guys... I think it looks the coolest with... Um, some like... Uh, fonts that kind of look like this a little bit that are kind of more um, uh, it's hard to explain I mean yeah uh, I'll get back to you guys whenever I find a good font and then I'll kind of explain it more and uh, I'll kind of explain it better to you alright guys for this video I think I'm actually just going to do this uh, font called hair mask um, so yeah but uh, what you guys want to do is make this pretty big just like your other one, make it a little bit bigger actually. And then um, change the style, just add the exact same color, but make the uh, outline small. small, lot smaller, so. Yeah, make the, yeah, make that really similar. Like, you got it to be almost identical. And then what you're gonna do is you guys are gonna take this right here and you guys are gonna move it down one. So then this one's on top. And then make sure you select it on your um, new text that you just added. And then you guys are going to also reiterate this. And then select it again. And then arrange it and tilt it the same, a little, uh, just about the same amount as your other one. And then you want to put it like behind it. But you guys kind of want to put it in like a good, um, so you can see like the bottom and the top. Because uh, what this is going to do is it's going to add a really nice effect. So yeah. Alright. Then what you guys are going to do is click on that text again. And then you guys are going to left click on or right click on it. And then um, move, make the transparency like 50. And yeah, it'll look something like this. You guys can make it bigger and smaller, however you like. And um, yeah, I'm probably going to put it somewhere around like here. I think that looks nice. Um, but yeah, the next step that you guys want to do is you guys want to add your background. So, um, what I would recommend doing is uh, going up to here and search up Fortnite Chapter 2 Scenery. And then you'll get a bunch of different sceneries and stuff like this or this or something. 
for this video I'm just gonna be doing this because I think that this just looks clean and uh, yeah it's basic so you guys are just gonna right click and then uh, you guys are gonna copy the image address go back to pixlr e and then you guys want to go to file open image URL and then paste in the and then click add current and then there we go uh, it came in so now what you guys are gonna do is just move it to however you like feel free to turn the transparency down on this just until you you know find a good spot that you like on your for your banner there we go and then what you guys are gonna do is um, this is what I normally do it's a really good technique in my opinion uh, take your image that you just added first of all put the transparency all the way back up and then move it all the way down behind your background layer. But before, actually, before you move it down your background layer, you need to click at this lock, double click it, and then, because that'll unlock it, because it's locked to background. So now this is gonna be your background. Make sure that you're still selected on it. Uh, this, uh, your, what is gonna be your new background layer. And you guys want to go up here to this right here. And then you're just gonna crop this out to where your um, gray lines are showing where your banner is gonna be. So maybe a little bit higher, uh, just so you it it's for sure, you know. So you guys are just gonna crop it out on both sides, top and bottom. And then just move it above your background. And boom, there you guys go. Um, what I don't normally do here is I would um, probably blur this out because I think that it just looks like too much whenever it's just like this uh, and it's I mean it just I don't know um, I just prefer to blur it out so what you guys uh, what I'd recommend you guys do to blur it out is just go up to filter blur and then move it up like a tiny bit I'm gonna do 10, uh, 10 right here. and there you go now it looks really clean and um, yeah the next step uh, is you guys can go to uh, up here and search up Fortnite care, uh, character PNGs and you guys can select any PNG you want. You guys can search up any skin you want, anything like that. Uh, I would recommend getting two skins just because I think that looks the nicest. And um, yeah, I think for the skins that I'm going to be using are probably just these two because they're the first two that showed up. Um, so yeah, let's just select this. You guys are going to copy the image address again and then um, insert the image. And then you guys can go up to here and just move him down to make him line up. Just like so. What I would do is I would put him, as you guys can see right here, this is what it's going to look like on mobile. So try to move your character like um, inside of between that uh, barrier line and then try to move it similar to on both sides. So yeah. And one more thing I would do is take your character image and move it below your uh, this text right here. So then the text is going over the image. And then I'm going to add the other one just for symmetry reasons. You guys don't have to. You can if you want. Um, I personally just like doing this because it just makes it look a lot cleaner in my opinion. So yeah, I'm gonna line these two up and make sure that they're the same size. There we go. And then just move them like just like this. And then move them below the text. And there we go. Also, another thing I'd recommend doing is if you guys go to um, this brush, you guys can actually turn this size uh, to however big you want. I'm gonna probably put it to like here, or maybe a little bit here. Turn the softness to around 50%, and then turn the spikes all the way up. And then if you guys turn the opacity down to 50, and then draw around the characters, It adds a little lighting effect.
and then you guys can just erase all this extra stuff on top that and just erase some of this extra stuff right there also if you guys make any mistakes during this you guys can press Control z to re to undo them so yeah there you guys and then uh whenever you guys are done with that the last step is um, adding the background to cover up all this ugly extra stuff so what you guys can do is you guys can search up um like a white background whatever color background you guys want uh, i'm just gonna do um green background and then if you just look through these trees with everyone you guys want i think this one's supposed to be a comic style so i'm just gonna take this copy the image address and then paste it in add current and then move this above uh move this all the way down above your background layer and then just do this center it up and then if you guys click on it you guys can um, change the hue and saturation to make it like lighter or darker and yeah another cool thing is if you guys go to the shape icon uh, you guys can go up to here the line and then you guys can actually uh, add lines like this it's just a cool little thing you guys can do if you would like I've been doing it recently so I just thought I'd share it and um, yeah that's pretty much how you guys can make a, a custom Fortnite banner um, yeah at the end you guys might want to just adjust it a tiny bit like your character placement and other stuff just tweak it a tiny bit uh, after you've done all your edits just to make it look perfect just like that how it was kind of overlapping the white line um, but yeah that's pretty much how you guys make a custom Fortnite banner um, if this video helped you guys out please like and uh, 90 like percent of people that watch my videos aren't already subscribed so if you're one of those people uh, I'd very much appreciate it if you guys subscribed uh, or if you guys do subscribe you don't have to, but um, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, leave a like on this video if it helped. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you guys later.